Leaves fading, flowers falling. Everything seems drawing to silence at the end of autumn. Farmers from Shou, a small village in Southern France, however, are busy harvesting the last batches of grapes. Here it is a, a very, very special place, which is called Car de Chaume, which means quarter of Chaume. Chaume being the little hamlet which is just behind you there. The origin of the name of this place comes from the Middle Age when the lord of the manor was asking as a mean of payment for the quarter of the harvest hanging on the slopes facing the south. The history of Bowman could be traced back to the 15th century. For a long time, her sweet wines has been known as the best wine in France. The reason why they harvest grapes so late, also the secret of their success, is because of the unique geographical environment and a local mushroom growing specially in shrub. Facing this way, uh, you will see four croup, four hills, we, we say, uh, and on which are grown uh, grapes of Chenin Blanc. And they have a very special maturity because of the situation. And uh, you can see, if you look down at the river place there, you can see the fog coming up the river. And this fog uh, helps the development of botrytis which is a little mushroom that grows on the grapes. We have a good example here of the grapes. This grape here is, and this one, this one, are just normal matured grapes. Here you have the same grape that has been drying. You see, it is just uh, getting dry, like this one also. And here we have a different situation. The grape matured one turned attacked by the botrytis. And uh, we, you can see the botrytis, that little mushroom growing on it. And then it will, it will progressively dry the grape, like here. Or like, like here, you see, you have then a very dry grape and when you squeeze it you have very little juice while here you have a lot of juice and this one is very very sweet very rich and this one is not and what makes a good wine is the blend of all this so here we will pick this part but not this part because it only has one that is attacked. So we will come back later. The species named Bolchitis cinerea is derived from the Latin word for grapes like ashes. Although poetic, the grapes refers to the bunching of the fungal spores on their conidia form, and the ashes just refers to the grayish color of the spores on leaves. The fungus gives rise to two different kinds of infections on the grapes. The first, gray rot, is the result of consistent rot or humid conditions, and typically results in the loss of the affected bunches. The second, noble rot, occurs when drier conditions follow weather, and it can result in distinctive sweet dessert wines. We have to come at the end of the summer to take off the leaves, which are protecting the grapes from the sun. And the idea of doing this is to have the wind to blow, to dry um, the grapes. So today, this morning, they are very, it is very humid, but Hopefully the sun is arriving and we will have some wind this afternoon which will dry the mushroom. So if it is only humid, the mushroom grows and grows and the quality is, is bad. And if we have 
humidity and sunshine and wind, um, then we have a concentration and a great quality of juice and then a, following a great quality of wine. Or what I personally like to have is two-thirds of this and one-third of this. This brings freshness, uh, cracking taste and uh, lively wine, Why this brings the softness and the roundness. Bonal has several sparkling colors, including a non vintage blend, hot turquoise, and hot Korea, white and rose respectively, as well as a Cuvée Melissa. There are also a number of Andrew Cuvées, rose and red, but the real strength of the portfolio is the selection of white wines, both dry and sweet, from seven rays, OTX to Leon, to the most well known one. You have visited our vineyard and uh, you have seen our team in, in the vines. Now we're going to, to see uh, the product of the vines, which are the wines. And um, we're going to taste a bottle of Car de Chaume. We are very lucky because we, we have the chance of cultivating vines there. And uh, the wines that come from these special fields uh, can age us over a century. And they are sweet and they will gain in color and complexity with time. Okay, so we are now going to, to taste the wines. And um, we will uh, uh, taste a bottle of Car de Chaume, which is the wine from the field in which we were. And it has um, on the bottle you have the armoiries, which are um, the signs and of the region. And it is the oldest French bottle that has this. Um, the bottle is locked closed by um, a screw cap, which is uh, the absolute uh, greatest uh, system today to, to close a bottle in order to have a top quality wine. Uh, preserved years after years. And the way to open a bottle is just you hold tight the bottom part of the foil and you turn the bottle this way. So, and it goes, you turn and it goes click, click, click on top. And then you just do this and that's it. So here are the white flowers. Fresh fruit, elegance, thinness, length. Caldeira 2006 has a lovely style and a sprightliness, and is the flora, elegant, vivacious side of Caldeira, rather than the honeyed richness evident in 2004. Pure, vibrant, naturally less opulent. But perhaps better defined, this is a fabulous laser-like embodiment of what this application is capable of. The bottling was done in July of 2005 with screw caps. Compared with the regular cork, the screw cap is neutral and more hermetic. The tightness is perfect, the quality is homogeneous for all the bottles of the same lot, and what more, it is easier to open and close. We can try two different vintages just to show you how well it ages. Um, well, this one was, as it is older, it was, it was uh, locked by with a normal cork. But this system of the corks is a, it's really a, a great progress because uh, all the sommeliers of the world can be sure when they open a bottle that it will not be taint or damaged or uh, and so um, we're very proud to 
to be among the first people in the world to proceed that way. And uh, tradition has some great things and uh, we must keep these things, but we need to progress for, uh, to serve better our customers and uh, especially wine lovers. Calde Shrome 2004 Mid Golden Hue Beautiful nose of barley sugar and orange With chalky Telsey Mindver notes bringing up the rear Full creamy style on the palate Simply laden with exotic flavors Oranges and other citrus fruits Flowers, leeches even Mineral and with great acidity Is a lovely weight and presence Previously showing quite a caramel note, this is much less evident today. So now we have uh, these two wines uh, served, and uh, although they are they come from the same field, they have a different age. And as you see, this one is younger, and the color is pale, while when it gets a few a few years of bottle, then it gets much more colored. And um, uh, the complexity comes in this, with time. And so here we have more complexity, we have uh, minerality, and there is some a waxy, honey uh, type of complexity. While on this one, it is more flowers, white flowers, white fruits, and of course, you will not eat the same food with this one or this one. So there are, it gives a, a very different pleasure and one can use this wine uh, more easily uh, with a fresh food to eat, while uh, the older wine would go more for um, uh, foie gras or a goose liver pâté or um, uh, even some desserts uh, with honey uh, or uh, with white fruits such as pears, uh, apples um, and uh, these wines really go well with oriental cooking uh, and with the blend of the sugar and the salt uh, with the roasted and the rare uh, when you have the, the crackiness, the crunchiness of a fruit Calde Shrem is like an adolescent prince or an aging king. Vivid when young, its primary aromas last for only a couple of years. But what pleasure they give! Afterwards, the wine withdraws into itself for a period lasting from 5 to 15 years, depending on the vintage. The color of Quote Shrem changes over time from pale gold in its youth to a golden green tinge with amber as it matures. The initial fruity bouquet blossoms later into one of quince, lime, peach, apricot, incense, wax and honey. The wine plays its area differently each time, in harmony with the drinker's interpretation. Golden season, golden wine. Just like beautiful times, wines of Chateau Beaumont give you both sweetness in tongue and joy in 